other way to do it is live and then um, paid advertisements. drive traffic okay so i've been typing this stuff out because i i recently uh, just did one yesterday and that was live um, at pierston and katie it's a one story and i'll show you all of that the second one i'm going to do is on sunday i'm going to go through three or four of my showings and do a combination of live as well as um collaborative okay so it's live and collaborative well, that would be this. All right, so um, let's talk about your, your uh, setting, up a sh setting up a showing. In showing time, you could do um, a, a showing. We have one today at five o'clock and my client is not allowing anybody on site. Um, and so there is a blog um, by showing time. It says how to set up <clears throat> Um, the video showings with showing time. So basically it's exactly the same, but you as the listing agent have to start the Zoom meeting a couple minutes prior to the scheduled appointment. Then all parties come on and the seller walks around the house, okay? So you've gotta be uh, a little bit in control because <laughs> you don't want the seller to, to say stuff and this and that, but basically, yeah. It's just informative. Hey, show me this, show me that, this and that, this and that. Personally, I don't want to bother my seller because that's a hassle, it's like a total hassle, right? So what I did was I went out and actually did a collaborative live and then a regular live. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like to do the, uh, the, reg the regular live everybody knows, right? So let me go to... What is it? Facebook, and then I'm gonna go to Diasana Properties Group. And you can do this to whatever freaking page you wanna do it. I do, I have a business page. You, I think you have a business page. There's gonna be a conversation about do it, do it to my timeline or my page or whatever. And it's gotta be public so people can see it. So I did this yesterday. Where is it? Here. Okay, so then you had the link. So here's a sample link, copy link. All right, where's my freaking notes here? Doing this at the same time. So, how to, and then sample live. All right, so make sure your page is uh, public and then you can do the sample live and you know, whatever. Well, I sent this to the, e to the agent and sample text, oops, sample text. So this says, thank you for considering the uh, whatever address. Seller does not allow anyone to be on site for any showings. We've provided a virtual option to virtually see the property from two different perspectives for your client to review. Um, the first one was um, with co-agent or co-host comments. Mm -hmm. that, and that directly goes to YouTube. We'll show that in a second. And the last, the second one is a live link to my Facebook business page, which I showed you just how to cut and paste it. So boom. Then I text them and say, hey, please check your email and respond. Because I, I want to make sure they don't go up to the door and yeah. all that. Like double, tripling communication. And I call them, right? So it's yeah. email, text, whatever. Just um, that's what you, It's super OCD, but I don't want to ever get caught and say, hey, you didn't communicate and there's a problem with technology and they never got the text, never got the email. No, I've called you, I've talk, called you and texted, right? Yeah. So... Hold on, I'm getting a, can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. It's gonna, it's gonna wait a second. All right, so that's live, right? Super easy, you know how to do that. Um, you know how to connect to Zoom and, and take care of all that. So the second one is StreamYard, okay? 
So I, I've looked at multiple, uh, uh, so let me back up. The reason you wanna do a live broadcasting software is because you want it to go to multiple places. So when we do our happy hour, it's got to go to, to two Facebook profiles, mine and Carrie's. Mm -hmm. You can also send it to YouTube. For whatever reason, you can't send it to Instagram, so don't ask, right? I don't yeah. know why. So it is what it is, right? And there are several software out there. This one has been the easiest for me to understand and connect and easy to manage because I don't have to be super technical, okay? All right, so let's go into StreamYard. All right, so Stream, StreamYard, you create destinations. So like I said before, there's Joe's profile, Carrie's profile. Yesterday, Alex was one of my guests, okay? The only reason I have her profile there is because I streamed it directly to her page, okay? You have to get, you're gonna have to get their login and all that stuff, right? Um, so then I did it to my Facebook page and then also to YouTube. You can do it to LinkedIn, but you got to get permission. And there's this application process, which I've been trying to apply for four weeks now and they still haven't gotten back to me. Okay. So the only benefit to this, if you're a single agent is if you have a profile and a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Just super minimum. Let's just get to right to the point. Right. So when you broadcast, you create a broadcast, and let me show you how it goes. I'll say, I wanna go here, I wanna go here, I wanna go to the page, I wanna go to YouTube. Okay, I'm using pattern replacement in, in Mac. Um, this is for, so I don't have to type all this hoo-ha. I, I, I get tired of typing and I forget all the damn, oh, excuse me, all the tags. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but on this, I could do something different where it's, uh, what did I do? Tags. So I was cutting and pasting these tags earlier. Anyways, you can do stuff like um, address, neighborhood, uh, zip. Well, whatever, whatever, right? So now I've created a broadcast. And then I enter the studio. So at this point, we're not, we're not live because I didn't hit this button over to the right. If I do that, boom, I go into there, right? Yeah. So I put in the stream and I've added all these little banners, banner things on the side. Um, you could add your logo and all this business. I don't, I'm not going to step you through all of this. Sure. The point here is I'm streaming live and I can hit two spots at once. And I brought someone from, um, from Susan Hubley, like Jubilee from Sotheby's in Calgary, Canada. Right. So we're talking now problem. Big old problem is I'm on my laptop holding my laptop. Okay. So then I said, Hey, look at down the street, there's this park, right? So I turn like this and I'm, I'm looking at the park, but the view of the laptop is to the cul-de-sac behind me. Right. Right. right yeah. Total craziness. Right. And I was like, Oh, wait a minute. So then I turn it around and I can't see the comments that are coming in because you can click on comments here and there's there's a setup piece in there you've got to click a couple a uh, couple of things that say it's got to be public and blah 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 um to start seeing the comments so like i'm flipping my laptop it's crazy <laughs> yeah yeah so, so it's I, it's best to have a producer that sits there and pushes it and then you have all right and the other thing too is you can how i invited them it's super easy you just copy that to the clipboard and then you send it to them right so yeah um i could send it to you but if i pull you in because you're on zoom and there's a speaker for zoom and then there's speaker on your iphone you'll mm -hmm. hear a lot of feedback right so don't do that um but it, they'll come in and they'll be blanked out here and it'll be like they're in the green room. You haven't brought them in, yeah. you can bring them in but I'm not live. 
once you go live, then you have to put them back in the green room so nobody sees them and you can pull them in. So it takes a little bit to, to work at it and to kind of play around with it. I mean, you can do all kinds of uh, banners and stuff like that. You know, you can set up a banner and make it scroll across the bottom like that. So there's a lot of little things that you can kind of do. It doesn't do emojis and all that. I already asked them and there's a big debate in, in, about that. <laughs> this is why I start out there. So backing up. All right. So on, let me go back here on. So on Sunday, I'm going to do paid advertisements to drive tra traffic to those three destinations, carry mine and um, the Facebook business page. And I'm going to put a graphic made in Canva. Ooh, Canva. We have Canva. Create cool. Okay, so you create the, the, the image and you post it. Then you run Facebook advertising, I'm still learning that piece, right? Like, oh my gosh, right? <laughs> to drive traffic several days in advance, and then you go into StreamYard and broadcast, right? So uh, the challenge on the broadcasting is holding the laptop. So I'm gonna try it with a selfie stick um which is $21 but the problem with that is it doesn't stabilize so you're going to have to get um a uh, gimbal it's like a gimbal or gimbal i think it's a yeah yeah something like that and i'll i'll send you all this when we're done um so we'll find out how it goes. <laughs> and then yeah. everything else is exactly the same, right? I mean, it's like, hey, I know about this house. I know about this neighborhood. I know about this and that. The cool thing with StreamYard broadcasting is you could say while you're live, hey, is there anybody out there that was, wants to come online with me and walk through the house? So that's just kind of the angle that I'm trying to, to do to see, do something completely different. Um, so I don't know. now. You could have um, Kristen, your assistant, run from her house as producer, and you go out there with your, and then she brings you in, right? Because mm -hmm. you're, you're going to be, you're going to be a guest. She'll be the, you know, and uh -huh. you, know, yeah, yeah. So you can kind of manipulate the route. I mean, there's some just logistics that you've got to work through to make sure that you got it. So. All right, so in summary, we went over how to do a Zoom or online meeting schedule, just like normal, but it's through Zoom. Then we talked about live and then multiple destination streaming. And then we talked about uh, creating the uh, push for um, getting more views. Now, Catherine Rain. Yeah. You've seen her before, right? Yeah, in Florida. Yeah, Catherine Rain. And I want to show you at her next. She has, where is her videos? All right, so most of her videos, you can see like seven views, 81 views, not very impressive, but on a couple of them, I can't find it. Here, right. seven. Yeah. She had one up for five hundred. It's right there, right next to where you were, to the left. It's fifty three hundred. Yeah. Oh, uh, there, fifty three hundred. Yeah, this is the one that she did, and she talked about in Lab Code Agents about how she um, got. Um, she did a paid for it ad for that. So I'm still working through how the heck to do that. <laughs> Don't know. You yeah. Know? I mean, you've got to go create a custom lookalike audience. If you have a list of emails and phone numbers and names, you know, that's the other, the other piece is the driving the traffic piece is going to be a, the challenge. So in the context of an open house, like 
to do the views, I mean, we're not allowed to turn on open houses, right, for our MLS uh, anymore. Is that right? We can't do it. Right, but they're they're going to release. I think next week it's in beta right now with with some agents, but they're they're adding onto the HAR app um, the uh, ability to to schedule and do a virtual open house through the app. Okay. All right. So. Yeah, so the, I mean, the, the challenge is getting eyes to look at a scheduled, a pre-scheduled open house um, through our MLS. And yeah. I'm gonna ask uh, Nathan to see if I can get on that. But yeah, since this is going out to potentially multiple types of people. Anyways, um, interesting, interesting. All right. I think uh, Ta Taki is uh, the one that's heading that up. Taki, yeah. Yeah, just so you know. So yeah, I'll, it, I'll find out from Nathan. Is Catherine using uh, StreamYard? She's not using StreamYard. She's just using a regular live. So when you look at this this one video here, it's all like her walking around live. So th these are just images that she puts at the, uh, that's her thumbnail? Yeah, so she created a thumbnail to put over it. And then, which I think you can do that in YouTube, or I can't remember how she did it. But like, you know, in Miami, they're essential, but they can't show, right? So right. she had to figure it out. She spent six hours just jumping on and trying to say, okay, I'm not technical. How do I do this? And she just spent six hours figuring out, okay, what do I want to do? So she says, I want to have a, a thumbnail that, that brands myself. And then she physically goes out there. All of these are like your normal, hey, look at me, look at the house. It's awesome. It's good. And she does a really good job at it. And then she figured out how to drive traffic to it. Cause I, cause right now I'm seeing her stuff all the time now. So right. I, I don't know. I don't know how that, that happens. So, right. which is, which is going to be good anyways to learn, right? How do we market um, and not rely on um, our MLS? Cause our, the traditional approach is we schedule it. It's announced through the MLS and then we physically show up. Well, we can do the same thing, but not have people go through it. By, by doing it through Facebook and, and, and yeah, it is what it is. So. Cool. Interesting. So StreamYard doesn't have uh, a mobile app and you, and you can't run it on the mobile app. It does. It's, it uses, I think, um, the browser in your, in your, um, field, but it's only if you're a guest. Right. right? To, to actually do the production piece. So this is this, let me put it side by side, that, this whole little thing right here appeared over here on the screen. And then I had one, two other windows of each person that came in mm -hmm. and I would pop them in and out and they would make comments. And then I saw some people come in on this side and start talking, stuff like that. Yeah. It, the the challenge again is if your your hat is a producer and holding the laptop yeah, trying to yeah 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 it, it's a it's a little bit of, of a mess I, I i don't know how to get around doing that piece and that's the piece that's a challenge so cool all right i appreciate you sharing that with me and thank you so much for joining me on this education call hopefully I'm going to post it everywhere and see, see if that, that helps people. That's a really good share. Okay, bud. Share. Ciao. All right. Bye. Bye.